Who? I thought I told you to get Hi. the hell out of here. Tenpenny doesn't um. want your goddamn caps, and I don't want the goddamn headache. Oh. For the last time, get your rotten, ugly, goddamn ghoul ass off Mr. Tenpenny's private property. I'm not a ghoul. You kiss your mother with that mouth, you bitch. What? I kiss her with it. Oh. Sorry about that. Yeah, I you thought are. you were one of those damn ghouls looking for a handout. No. You are currently trespassing on Alistair Tenpenny's private property. You have some reason to be here? I'm looking for some guy in a suit. He told me to do shit and then come here and he would pay me sexually or something. I don't know. Where is He's he? He's expecting you? Why yeah. didn't you say so right away? Just a I moment. did. All right. Come on in. But I warn you, we're watching you. Okay, let's go. My God, it's beautiful. Holy shit. Oh. Welcome to Ten Penny Tower. Don't do anything Thank you. stupid. Okay, I'll try not to. Bye. Oh, yes. Yeah, it's pretty big. Look how tall it is. Holy shit. This will do nice. Hello? Tenpenny Tower is a wonderful place to live, isn't it? You finally get something right, retard. Hey there. Mm, I would surely yeah. have perished if it wasn't for Mr. Tenpenny and his tower. Oh. He's a cool so guy then, be out huh? here again. Damn good. Oh, I like this music. I could totally rock out to this dude. This better be important. Um, I think it is. Uh, who is this ten penny guy? Who is he? He owns this building. Oh. We get our caps from him, and don't you forget it. Oh, try not to, but I have bad memory, dude. I'll try though, just for you. Ten penny is always on time with the money, and we get fairly comfortable digs with side benefits. Oh my God. Did he give you any jobs and stuff? That'd be cool. That damn Roy Phillips won't take no for an answer. Keep showing up, looking for a handout. He and his kind aren't wanted. End the prick. If I were a betting man, I'd place a stack of caps on him trying something violent soon. And that would make Tenpenny nervous. I don't like it when Tenpenny gets nervous. But yeah, I can't neither. spare the manpower to go hunt down Roy Phillips and his band of misfits. Or I'd gladly end this thing once and for all. Yeah, you seem tough, dude. So, um, like, what, what are these cool things that you keep talking about? You serious? Yeah. You don't know what a ghoul is? No. A goddamn disaster waiting to happen, that's what they are. Oh my god. Sure, maybe you can get over the fact that they look like someone took a cheese grater to their face. <laughs> but it's what you don't see that's the problem. Oh. The radiation the penis? slowly eats away their brain. Oh. Then they go zombie on you. It's oh my better God. for everyone to kill them before all that, if you ask me. Yeah, me too. That guy Roy seems like a dick. Where are they? Dude, I'll help you out. I'll totally got your really? back. Yeah. You? Yeah, me. You're welcome to give it a try. Okay. But don't come crying to me when you get hurt. Oh. They've holed up in the nearby metro tunnels. They're living with packs of feral ghouls. Be careful. Sounds Roy scary. seems damn close to turning zombie himself. Yeah. I suppose you won't be doing this out of the kindness of your heart, hmm? No, no way How's no. How's 500 bottle caps sound? Oh. Payable upon termination of that damn ghoul, Roy Phillips, and all his followers. Hmm, that's a lot of shit to do. I think you can do better, man. Give me more money. Well, maybe you're right. Yeah, I am. It was something I was going to have to do eventually anyway. Yeah. How about another 200 caps? Okay, that's better. You can take this rifle and ammo. I have guns, But you too. better not screw this up. I don't. Roy Phillips and his gang are somewhere in Warrington Station Metro Tunnels. Okay. They've barred the main entrance. Try going through the train yard. Oh, fuck. Not another train. I hate train stations. It pissed me off. God damn it, I gotta go. It's dark in those tunnels. Shoot first, and ask questions later. Yeah, okay. 
It's usually what I do. Simon makes me. Hey! Hi. I am Comrade Cheng, beloved leader of the people, shining servant of the community. How can I help you? Dude, people can do shit on their own. They don't need you around. Go die. Ha, ah, but not everyone has common sense, do they? No. True happiness flows from respecting those in charge, because uh. they have the happiness of the people at heart. Yeah. For example, oh. I've appointed a committee to discuss this problem with the ghouls trying to get in here. Okay. Do you know anything about ghouls? Um, let's see. Look, I got that shit, dude. Don't worry about it. Thanks, dude. Seriously. You're old. Perhaps you're right. My wife is always going on about how crazy I make her. Oh. Oh. She sounds hot. Well, comrade, things are great. The best of the best have made a community here. Well, there is that problem with the ghouls, but I think it'll be solved soon enough. Yeah. I'm totally on that, dude. Trust me. Whatever. Yeah, bye. What, what the fuck is this thing? Hello? Well, oh, welcome it talks. to the Federalist Lounge. Thank you. I'm Shakes. Wet your whistle. Do what to my penis? What was wrong with you? I see, sir. Very well. May I pour you a drink? Why do you talk so funny? Who's this Tenpenny dude? He is the right lord and master of Tenpenny Tower. Or, at least, that's what my files say. Yeah, it's probably right then, right, dude? Don't you worry about any such thing, sir. Care to wet your whistle? Yes? I'm Michael Hawthorne. Who are you? And more importantly, should I care? Dude, I'm like totally your worst nightmare. I'll kill your ass. Well, then you'll excuse me if I don't invite you to share a drink. Really, you're as much fun as a couple of ghouls. They're trying to get in here, you know. Yeah, I heard. Don't suppose you've ever had to deal with ghouls before? Yeah, I do, dude. I'm an expert at that shit. Don't worry about it. I got your back. I'm gonna totally own them. Really? Yeah. Fantastic. You can give that Gustavo a lesson or two. Yeah, not sex lessons, though. I don't take that. Well, it's a great place to live. If you don't mind ghouls breathing down your neck. Um, I probably would. Right on. Yeah, okay, later, bitch. I gotta go do some ghouls or something. We are safe from the wasteland in here. Yeah, this is a cool place. Hey. Uh, huh? Welcome to new urban apparel. Oh. I carry the finest in pre-war clothes. Hurry up, let's get you what's out the matter, of the old rags and into something Dude, fat. What's what the looks like Adam Lambert? What the fuck? What's an Adam Lambert? Fine. Keep wearing that trashy outfit. I don't care. You probably couldn't afford to upgrade your look anyway. Uh, I could have made you fabulous. I bet you'd like that, wouldn't you, you creepy son of a bitch? Keep away from me. A very well-dressed gentleman, when he bothers to get dressed, he hardly ever leaves his penthouse suite. Yeah, that tenpenny sounds like a cool guy, man. Only those deserving to live here can afford it. And let me tell you, those who do live in style. Cool. Sound like a cool bunch of people to hang out with. Except for you, you suck. You are in definite need of an attitude adjustment. Yeah. Like those god-awful ghouls scrabbling at the gate all the time. Don't watch Someone the gate. Someone must do something to get rid of those vermin once and for all. Dude, I already told like a bunch of people. I'm totally gonna own those ghouls. Alright, I got your back and shit. <laughs> you bet. But who would dare touch them to give it to them? You would like to touch them, wouldn't you? Hand jobs and all. They were told they can't live here, but those zombies are too stupid to understand. They live in their own filth, squatting in the nearby metro tunnel. Security keeps shooting them, but they keep coming back. That fucking sucks, dude. What a waste of bullets. I'm just gonna go own them. I suppose it is, isn't it? Yeah. So, I'm gonna go now. Ta-ta. Yeah, but what the fuck does that mean, ta-ta? 
These Christ, you people are weird. Good to see you. Hey, baby. My name is Tiffany Ching. Oh, you're hot. My miserable ex- Oh, you're that dude's wife. Is Comrade Irving Ching. Oh, and yeah. you can tell him I said so. Oh, I will. Oh, let's do stuff together, me and you, yeah. It'd be hot. Huh. You try being married to my husband for five minutes. No. I dare you. No, I don't want to. I'd rather live with those ghouls. Well, okay, not really. But still. Did you happen to see any ghouls out there in the wasteland? You know how to kill one? Yeah. Yeah, I can totally kill them. Trust me, I got lots of guns and bullets and stuff. They're dead. That's terrific. A real man of action. Yeah. That's just what we need. Yeah, I know what you need, baby. That's right. So, um, what's it like living it's in a shell? It's very clean and safe here. Well, mostly safe. Yeah. They say those ghouls won't get in, but I don't know. Yeah, well, it's gonna happen someday unless I go take care of it, you know? They're living in the nearby tunnels. They scare me. Why doesn't somebody do something? I'm totally gonna go to do stuff. You don't need to be afraid, all right? Perhaps you're right. I, I mean, but I prefer to keep my nightmares a fantasy and not test my luck with the real thing. Thank you very much. You're welcome very much. Later, baby. What the fuck hey is this there. shit? Who's this guy? Herbert Dashwood. Hey. Damn glad to meet you. Call me Daring. Everyone else does. No. Should you be like Got sleeping and shit? Butt, huh? Better put that no. to good use. Ouch. Go out exploring. Don't hang around these fools. You'll only want to blow your brains out. Ah, to be young yeah. again. You know the GNR radio play, The Adventures of Herbert Daring Dashwood? That's about me. No. Based on my early days. I had myself I don't a listen to the radio, dude. servant and everything. So, uh... Ew. You ever met a ghoul before? Ew. God, what did he do to you? Yeah, I killed a bunch of them. They're fucking awesome to kill. Well, then you know that some ghouls aren't feral and can be reasoned with. Those ghouls that keep trying to get into Tenpenny, they need to stop before someone gets hurt. I think they live in the nearby yeah. metro tunnels. That's what everybody says, dude. I gotta go check that shit out. Some ghouls moved into the nearby metro tunnel. There's a bunch of the so-called feral ghouls in there, but a handful seem the sociable type. I've tried explaining to my fellow tenants that not all ghouls are monsters, but they don't seem to care. I mean, either, really. The intelligent ones should stay away from our trigger-happy protectors. If there are enough feral ones, though, eh, they could overwhelm security. Dude, that would probably suck for you then, huh? Because you'd die and shit. Your lucky old men learn patience. But keep pushing your luck, and I'll teach you a thing or two. Yeah. A lot of you people are creepy like that. I don't know why. What the hell's wrong with you guys? Who are you? Here? You're new around here. Yeah. I'm Margaret Primrose. Hey. I run the Cafe Beaumont. Stop by sometime. Okay. I, I just did. So, like, um, tell me about this dude. Every day, it's the same thing. The man has no imagination with his meals. Oh. But it's his building, so every day I make that damned iguano bit sandwich, no salt, with a peeled pear on the side. I send it up to the penthouse. <laughs> What's it like living in this show? It's a great place to live. Oh. I've always dreamed of giving people fresh meals and a place to relax and enjoy a good conversation or two. Yeah. Tenpenny gave me a place to do that. I'm greatly indebted to him for that. Yeah. Do you, do, like, do sexual favors for him and stuff? Lucky? Perhaps I should feel lucky. But really, we've all worked hard to get what we have. Wait. I think it's fair to say we deserve to live here. Those ghouls, on the other hand, they think they can just take whatever they want. Well, they have to earn the right to live here. Yeah, but have you ever seen one? They're, like, all fucked up and shit. How would you like to, like, walk around looking like a hamburger, dude? It would suck. I guess I never thought of it that way. Yeah. It's probably really hard just living day to day like that. Yeah. Now I feel a little ashamed. Yeah, you should, lady. I gotta go. You're boring me. Have a good one. Yeah, you do. God damn, you people are one-sided. You need to, like, get a grip.